Hello again. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, today I'm continuing my work on this A77 that I've been doing um, for a few days. Anyway, um, this is a lot of work, but um, I, I'm in no hurry, so I'll just take my time and do it. But anyway, um, I would really like to, to have it in a state where the owner can really enjoy it again. Um, this deck, I would really like to do a full restoration on it, but um, the I'd have to run it by the by the um, the owner if they want to go through that because it's gonna take a lot of parts to do this um, to and to do it properly. Anyway, um, some some issues that I found on the deck, um, for example, I'll show it to you. These relays. They are supposed to be held down by a spring that go from the bottom to the top and, and just hold it across and hold them down. And they're all missing. All of them are missing. All three of them are missing. Right? So I have to kind of kind of tape it so that they don't move. You know? And um, you remember I said that there was the owner said they they smell smoke when they when they powered it up. The culprit was this resistor right here. It smoked, and the uh, a few of these one two two of these caps um, point four seven caps were were shorted, which brings that down, burn it up. And so I change out a few parts on here. The resistor, all, I change all the caps, um, change, change the, um, all the X, X2 caps. And underneath the, um, the caps and motor, I change that cap also. Uh, I didn't change a whole lot of stuff. Oh, the motor run caps, they had to be changed. Even though they were not leaking, you know, I, I pulled them out and I tested them and they were way off. So I, I put some brand new caps in here. These, these right here, you can see that. I put brand new ones in there. So um, what had happened was um, I had these, these originals in there first. And when I, when I powered it up, the deck would run and then it stopped. And it run and it stopped when I, you know. So I checked my, my supply voltages. Supply voltages were good. So my next step was to check the motor run caps. So I checked the motor run caps, all of these, and they were all bad, all out of specs. So now I, I put new ones in. And uh, the deck, I fired it up before, and it, it runs. Um, I would really love to do a proper recap on this thing, but like I said, I will take it back to the um, to the owner, and if he want to go ahead with it, then I will gladly do it for him. But at this point, I'm just performing a repair on this deck for him, I'm just repairing it. And um, another thing I noticed too. Can you imagine this? Someone was working on this deck before, and they, I checked the fuse right here, and this is what I found. This fuse is wrapped by aluminum foil. And the fuse itself is blown, no good. But they wrap it with aluminum foil and put it in there. But it did work, but I would never do something like that. So, um, if you get a deck, you know, inspect it carefully before you do anything. Uh, what else? I clean up everything. I clean it up all up. Um, the bearings for the, this, the bearings for here is a bit noisy, so I think I'm gonna change that um, capstan bearing. But these are real quiet and nice. So guess what? I had, I get eggs all over my face on this one because when I was cleaning up the deck, 
I put the um, the all-purpose cleaner on 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 the face to to wipe to wipe it off, and before you know it, all the letters came off. All the letters came off this thing. So, <laughs> so right now, I I I had to um, to kind of improvise. Let me show what show you what I did. Show you. See that? This is the new faceplate. I just wrote wrote the um, the letters on it myself by hand, free-handed. You know, yeah. But anyway, I have I have a, a new one on. Uh, well, I I ordered one from from eBay to replace this one. So I didn't want to take take it back with my handwritten face panel to the owner, so he would freak out. But I'm going to tell him what happened. I'm going to take this back with me and, and, and the one I've sourced from eBay, put it on and just tell him exactly what happened. Full disclosure. So anyway, I, I put in the cards, put back all the cards in the deck. And let me, let me power it up and show you what's going on here. Now the power button is out. It has to be changed. I don't. I don't have one currently, but I'll get one. And um, let's see here. Now. So you hear that the deck is working. I just give you a little snips. Of because this is not a this this might I might be flogged for copyright on this one, so I'll just give you a little snap snips. That's it. So the deck is working. I still have some work to do on it. Like I say, I'm gonna I'm gonna um, change that bearing, and uh, I hope I have one. Uh, the capstan bearing. And then I'm gonna put the faceplate on. And then I don't I don't have any spring to um to hold on these uh these uh these relays. I hope the owner has them. And um, even the spring even the spring for the brake was missing. So I have to borrow one from my my deck and put it here. Um, I think yeah needs. This needs a, a need one of those. So anyway, um, yeah. So that's where I'm at with this deck. Uh, I'll be um, I'll be away for a little bit, so I, I just want to finish it up for him and um, and uh, put a smile on his face. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and that's where I'm at on this B77 Mark One. Oh, and you'll remember, you'll remember that this input board has this cap that was, you know, modified here, and all the, the, the wires didn't cut off. They were all over the place. But it turns out that uh, this board works. All I did was to just clip off the ends. And just stick it in there, and it's it, it's working. Yeah. So, I, like I said, um, I'm gonna ask if he if he want to do a complete restoration on this thing, and then if the answer is yes, then I'll do it for him. But as it is now, this is what we have. Deck is working, and um, I'll just uh, verify all its function, like the recording and so forth. I'll, rec I'll verify that it can do, it does record and all that stuff before I take it back. Okay. Second time. Thanks again for stopping by. See you later. Bye-bye.